Okay, Ross, uh, almost three months now at, at Tranmere. Uh, that's a, a decent enough time for you to, to adapt to, to the way things are. How, have you, how do you think you've settled in? I think I've settled in well, to be honest. Like, all the boys have helped as well because they're a close-knit group. They've all been very welcome and uh, obviously the coaching staff as well have uh, been great with us since coming in and making sure I'm settled in that. But uh, I haven't been going well so far. Uh, settled in well, happy with how things are going. And the way things have been going on the field in the past sort of six, seven, eight weeks, there's been a marked improvement in results. I mean, Tramir now renowned for this defensive solidity of which you're playing a big part, really. Uh, even at the start of the season, defensively, we're solid. Joe, when Joe was playing, he, I thought Joe was outstanding when he was playing, obviously. His injury came about and then uh, I came in, I felt I took my chance well, but all around the pitch, the defence has been brilliant with the back, and not just the back four and the keeper, like the whole the whole squad been great defensively, working working hard on that uh, to keep the clean sheets and uh, well, reaping the rewards with the defensive system now. Because you have to have belief in what every individual is doing as part of the team for, for that defending to come together as well as it has. Yeah, you just need to... You know, you train with the boys day in, day out, and you know what they're capable of. Capable of. So, uh, when it takes into the game on the Saturday or the midweek games, you, you need to believe in yourself and stick to the game plan and know what you're good at. And uh, we've been looking at awards defensively. Everyone's been brilliant with it. And seeing the team climb the table um, must be really rewarding for, for everybody, but particularly for, for, for you, you know, as, as one of the, the new members of the gang. Yeah, obviously it's always good to be keeping up the table on that. And I think we're just a lot of new boys in the squad as well. So it maybe took a wee bit of time to get the, the identity. But I think we're week on week, we're growing in performances and doing uh, uh, the performances are getting better every week as well. So we're reaping our awards for that now. Uh, can you sense it in terms of, uh, of your playing at a, at a pretty decent level now, week in, week out, how much your own, your own game is improving? Yeah, I feel I uh, didn't know too much about the, the standard down here before I came down here. And then I was pleasantly surprised at how good it was. And then uh, the standard's very good down here and it's very intense games. And every game's a hard game. So since coming down here, since my first real view of anything, any football down in England, because I'm used to up the road, uh, it's a very good standard. And I feel uh, my game's benefiting from it as well. And how would you compare and contrast the games you've been playing in north of the border to, to, to what you've been doing down here for Tramie? Uh, they're both good stand. Down here, I'd say it's more, a bit more physical as well. When technically, the players down here are just as good. and uh, Games are very intense. Uh, don't get a minute's, minute's rest in these games down here. So it's obviously good. So you need to stay concentrated the whole game and then see what happens. And then, obviously, I'm happy with how things are going. And does that bring its own challenges in terms of the, of the physicality of the game in the penalty area, perhaps, to, to, to what you've been more used to? Yeah, obviously, it brings more challenges, but it's more physical. Uh, being the keeper in that, if your bodies come flying into you. But you've just got to be ready for that and always be aware of it and just uh, stay concentrated. Yeah, it, it, it's very early days, obviously, in terms of uh, of the season. But we've had enough football to be able to, you know, to at, at least, uh, uh, you know, take a a litmus test on what we've seen so far. And I think it's fifth versus six in the table this week. And if you look at the away form, the victories so far haven't been as uh, as numerous as you would have liked. But you've been away to Forest Green, who were top. And, and not beaten, being away to Harrogate, who was second, and not beaten. It's, it's a bit of a surprise ahead. Uh, that's coming up there. Yeah, Mike just broke up there a sec. Yeah, just saying, uh, you've been away at Harrogate, and you've been away at Forest Green. You haven't lost either of those games, and uh, that's a good sign for, for what's to come. Yeah, obviously the results on the road have uh, been good, but like shown after the game on Tuesday night against Harrogate, I felt that we had chances to win the game. So that shows how far we've came. That we're disappointed not coming away with the 
the three points on the road to teams like Harrogate. And Northampton to come at Prenton Park, fifth versus sixth, uh, and an opportunity to put a, a, a bit of daylight between you know one of the teams who are really close to you now. Yeah, it's obviously going to be a tough game, which I feel what I've found every game in, every game in this league is tough. So just need to go in, uh, and focus, and then believe in ourselves and uh, hopefully come away with the three points at home on Saturday. Because the form of Prenton Park's been really, really good, hasn't it? Yeah, obviously, with the crowd behind us at home, and that has helped us a lot, and it gives us that wee extra boost uh, at home. So I think we're, we're showing our home, home, our home form is very good, and uh, the fans are helping us with that as well. Brilliant, that's great from me. Good luck for the weekend. Cheers, thank you. Ross, uh, when you came down to Birkenhead, you, you wouldn't have been on Tramier fans' radar, really, at the time, because obviously they've had uh, a, a long-time established keeper in Scott Davis and, and uh, a, a more than adequate understudy in Joe Murphy, but uh, things change, don't they? But how, how did the move come about? Because obviously you, you, you know Mickey, of course, from Scotland, but, but how did the move come about? Yeah, well, towards the tail end of last season, I went to Dundee United on an emergency loan. I was there for maybe four or five weeks and then I got to work under the gaffer there. Then during summer, uh, got in contact and then the move was in the works for a good while, but it just took a, took a couple of weeks longer than I'd hoped for it to come to fruition. So to finally get down here, but just uh, working under the gaffer at Dundee United last year put me in good stead and obviously being a familiar face when I first came down here, it's been helped a lot. Um, looking at your uh, career so far, obviously you're a, a, a massive club in Celtic and, and as part of your development you've had a, a few different low moves and do, uh, have you kind of got used to that way of life as a footballer, you know, because uh, um, it must be quite hard to put down roots while you're still, you're still developing your game and, 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 and obviously you've been at a few different places. Yeah, well obviously I've been in Laura a good few times now because I'm still, I feel I'm still quite young as a goalkeeper, uh, so going out and getting experience at different levels can only help me in good stead, so I felt the move here was another step up from my little move last year to come get games and do well and press and make a, hopefully make a name for myself. Uh, down here as well and uh, hopefully benefit the rewards of it. Obviously, you're, you're in a trio there uh, with two hugely experienced goalkeepers. Um, obviously, Scotty's been out of action now for a bit of a while, but but is that group quite close? Do you talk a lot and are they passing on of their experience to you? Yeah, the, the goalkeeping group's a, a tight-knit unit, you know. It's well, really a different breed for all the other outfield players, isn't it? But it's a nice close group and we're always like discussing certain aspects of our game and try to take on board like for example taking on board the other two keepers uh, techniques on to me, uh, what I can work on, what we speak about the games as well, what they thought about the games, just get different views and that. So it's all great. We're pushing each other on uh, well to perform, but uh, Obviously, it's, it's good having the experience heads around me as well to like, learn off them as well, because I'm still quite young and obviously still need to improve my game a lot. So getting the experience heads around about me uh, helps me a lot. Um, Trammy, I've got a, a pretty good tradition of, of really good goalkeepers down the years. I don't know how aware you are of that or not, but um, the, the crowds have really taken to certain keepers uh, over the decades and and you've had to be patient for your own spot, haven't you? But since it's come, you've, you, I think you've had a return on your performances. And, and have you felt that from the crowd yet? Are, are you aware of their appreciation of you? Yeah, obviously, you, you see it when the, when the game comes and that from playing, obviously. It took a few weeks to get in the, get in the team. Obviously, with Joe coming off injured, you never like seeing that. But I feel that, is my, took my, uh, feel that was going to be my chance. And then... Hopefully took it and then obviously the games and that if you make me saves, you get the reactions for the fans and all. And even walking out after the game to the car and that, they, all the fans are congratulating you saying well done and that. So it made me feel very welcome, made me feel good about myself that it, it seems like the fans have been quite happy with so far, but I can always improve. It could be quite an unforgiving position, can't it, goalkeeper? If you make one mistake, it's a good chance it leads to a goal. So, th did you have any nerves when you first came in, or how, how you know how quickly were you able to settle? 
Uh, it's that's the life of a goalkeeper, really. It's just uh, you're walking off a line all the time, really. Like if you make the mistake, it could lead to a goal, but that's the consequence of being a goalie. And uh, obviously, coming into the game, I try to keep as calm as I, calm as I could and just play the way I know I can play. So uh, hopefully, I've done that and uh, everyone's happy with it so far. Hopefully, during the pandemic. There was obviously no no supporters in the stadium, so that gave people in the press box a, a different perspective of of what was happening out on the pitch. And one thing that I, I picked up on immediately was that one voice I could hear constantly throughout the game was Scott Davis. Uh, you know, a, a very vocal uh, person out on that pitch. What, what's your own style? Uh, I'd say I'm quite vocal, but I like try to be a calming influence on everybody. But I feel as a goalkeeper, you need to be vocal because you get the full, you're behind everybody and you get the, the full view of the pitch. So, obviously, speaking and being vocal, that helps the whole team, giving them instructions and that, possibly things they couldn't see. So, I think part and parcel of being the goalkeeper's uh, your instructions and then your, your shouts to just let everyone aware if anyone's on the shoulders or that or just in positions. So, I think that's a big part of goalkeeping as well, just staying concentrated. And it's a good way to keep concentrating on the game as well, just keep talking and uh, helping the defence and midfield out. Yeah, because obviously only only six goals conceded in the league by Tramere all all, uh, all season. The defence, uh, which includes the goalkeeper, of course, obviously doing really well. Um, you were one of, you know, about 18 players that have come in at the start of the season. That's quite a churn. It takes a bit of a while to, to gel. Have, have you... Have you noticed a big difference in the last couple of weeks, say, to maybe the start of the season? And is that something that you feel is still developing with more to do? I feel like even since the start of the season, defensively, we've been solid. Uh, and that shows with the, the stats that we've got, only conceding the goals. But obviously, the, the, the amount of new faces that came in, it may take a while to get used to. But I think we've uh, got to know each other pretty well and it's a very tight-knit group here. And... When it's a tight night group, always football always turns out better. When it's a close change room and that, and everyone's wanting the best for each other and helping each other out. So, no, nah, I think we since the start of the season we've been defensively solid as well. So, it's been good. And Northampton on, on Saturday, who I've noticed have, have creeped up. They're just behind Tramier, of course. Uh, it's going to be a, a big game, isn't it? And I suppose uh, what <laughs> what what's a preference as a goalkeeper? A clean sheet or just winning the match? Uh, obviously, winning the match is the main thing, and it? You always want the three points, but just to be added bonus is the, the clean sheet. I don't think there's a better feeling than coming into the change room after the game winning and keeping the clean sheet for a goalkeeper, personally. I think that's just, it's just no better feeling than that in, in football, getting the three points and the clean sheet.